I am a corporal in the United States Army Reserves. It's a corporal, United States Marine Corps. Corporal in the Marine Corps. Bosun's mate, second class, Naval Reserves. I was an E4, I was a specialist. My MOS was no 311. I was a horizontal construction engineer. A logistics support. I was an amphibious assault vehicle mechanic. I was a cook. In 2005, I just returned from Iraq. There came a time when I actually needed to get uh, some items that were awarded on paper, not physically actually presented to me. I thought, you know, um, it, it would sure save me a lot of time if I could just buy this stuff online and have it delivered right to my door. And then I just had a real hard experience online. We started the company to solve some of those issues for uh, individuals in my own situation. My grandfather was in the military. I also have a cousin who was um, full army. So I thought, well, if my cousin can do it, and she's shorter than me, um, I thought, <laughs> why not? I'll give it a go and see um, where it takes me. And um, so I joined. <laughs> I joined the military because actually of a resident at one of my previous jobs uh, where I was a caregiver. He was prior service Air Force. He was absolutely my, my hero and my inspiration for, for everything. I wanted to join and make that kind of a difference. I wanted to be a hero. I wanted to be an influence and make a significant difference in someone else's life like he did in mine. Uh, being a 20, 21 year old, not really getting out of the States going from that to seeing the world, you could definitely grow up a little bit, different perspective on things. It's, uh, you know, you're taking the fight to the enemy. And uh, tip of the spear, when they talk about that, that's, you know, you're it. My first deployment was in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. My second deployment was to uh, Kuwait, took, partook in the invasion of Iraq in 2003, so Iraqi freedom from Kuwait all the way up through Nazaria and Baghdad. And then uh, 2004, redeployed for my last deployment for Operation for Iraqi Freedom II um, from around June to December 2004. Worked around Abu Ghraib prison and the Anbar province and uh, partook in the uh, assault on the uh, city of Fallujah, Operation Phantom Fury in November of 2004. It's amazing to work with these guys that have gone through similar experiences and have similar training and you know, kind of carry themselves in a similar way that I do and to be able to use all those experiences and to help, you know, our, our battle buddies and our brothers and sisters, I think that's got to be the biggest reward that I can think of. I found out about you, Sam, because I actually had to order a ribbon rack for myself. Became a customer for quite a few months, uh, you know, buying products, but also inquiring for some time about getting hired on because, uh, I mean, having a military background and an interest in, you know, this kind of stuff, it was just natural for me. I started out assembling the uh, ribbon racks and now I do medals as well. I, mean, I take great pride in what I do. I was always good at keeping it real fresh. I always got compliments on my uniform. I had done a little bit of mounting of my own, but nothing on this level. I take pride in the racks I build here very easy for me to put myself in the plight of the customers because majority of them are military service members and I can understand how uh, important it is to get it just right. I've been in uniform inspections, I've been chewed out in uniform inspections, so um, I take, uh, take my work very seriously to get it exactly the way it needs to be done. Another reason why I joined the military is honor and trust, that's why I like working here, is that I trust the people I work with. Everyone's very friendly. Um, it's, it's a different atmosphere. Each person respects, definitely respects you. Um, and that's one thing I really like. Camaraderie amongst the coworkers. I've never had anything like that in any job that I've ever had other than the military. I would say relaxed environment because I've had uh, jobs where it was just constant stress all the time. I've even had jobs outside the military where I was risking my life on a daily basis and uh, wasn't a big fan of that. And when I came into USAM, it was a real breath of fresh air. Working at USAM as a vet has definitely been an amazing experience. Great place to work, the best I've had. I had certainly worked for a lot of companies in my life and uh, you know, I'd been in the military too and I thought, gee, you know, if I ever had the opportunity I'd like to put together something that um, really values the individuals. 
What we really try and do is just hire awesome people, whether they're a veteran or not, but when we can get our hands on a veteran, it's really a neat thing because it helps round out um, the experience. It helps provide a perspective that was missing.